welcome back to another special edition of Bite Size Moments with AJ from my home office. Yes, I did record this yesterday and scheduled to go live today. Thank you for asking. Um, I've been trying to do these videos every weekday. Some weekdays it doesn't happen. And so I wanted to make sure I got at least four up this week so I beat my three from last week. Um, so that's why we're here. So today I wanted to talk about some tools that I use in my everyday life um, to make things happen. So I wanted to get started with video tools. So we do a lot of video. Uh, on the Academy, we're constantly recording videos for courses. Um, we do a weekly D&D live stream. Well, sometimes D&D, sometimes it's board games. That's been changing up a little bit. And um, we're trying to get back in the swing of things. After the holidays, it's taking a little longer than normal, but we do that. And then we have book club and we've got these daily videos and a whole bunch of other things. So video is a daily thing for me, even when I'm not shooting these. Um, so the tools that I use to help with video is one on my computer. I do have a MacBook Pro, um, but these tools are agnostic of that. <laughs> so on my computer, I run OBS. So OBS is open, uh, open broadcasting software. It's an open source uh, tool for capturing video, whether you are streaming it out, which you can do through it, or you're just recording it to your computer. What it allows you to do is pull in your cameras, your microphones, arrange them accordingly. You can add filters to things. So I could throw a green screen up here and chroma key it out. And it makes that all pretty easy. There is a pretty steep learning curve on it. Um, it does take some adjustment. And then you'll notice that these videos, a lot of times they come in and out of focus on the Mac. You actually have a few less controls. And one of the controls you don't have is the ability to turn off autofocus. So that's why it's always going out in and out on these videos. However, like on our weekly live streams that we do, um, those are on a windows machine and that is turned off. So we don't have this in and out effect so much. Um, the next thing that I use is I actually, if you notice I'm holding a microphone and it's the wired microphone from my headphones. Um, I found that that microphone, since it's set up for video conferencing, actually isolates pretty well. I do have a Yeti and I do like the Yeti, but it picks up a lot of ambient noise and especially here at my home where my kids downstairs and there's a lot of stuff going on. It just picks up a lot. So um, you don't have to get expensive with it. This is a $10 wire. I don't even think it was that. It was like $5. It's a replacement wire, but it, it does the job. Um, as for the camera that I use, I use here a Razer Keo. Um, at the office, I use a Razer Keo Pro. I do like the picture better on that one, but I do like that this one has a ring light so that I can illuminate things a little better. Um, but I'm in front of a window, so I am get a little washed out sometimes when I turn it on here. Um, and then I also use my Stream Deck. So I have come to use my Stream Deck for everything. It is both a video tool and a productivity tool for me. Um, I do a lot of web development, which is a lot of copying and pasting um, with content, especially as we're, we're building out the pages for people. So I have hotkey set up and with the Stream Deck, um, I can easily change scenes on here. In the book uh, review I did the other day, the slideshow on the books, that's what I was using to advance the slides. Um, I can use it to change scenes in here. I can use it to change settings to start and stop the recording. It's a very powerful tool um, and that's why I rely on it for everything. I actually, at the office, I've got uh, the 16 key one it's the biggest one um, and then here at home I have the stream deck app that I use um, which is just a little 12 key that one's 12 that one might be 32 be 32 key um, I use a little 12 key one here that's on my app on my phone and I pay a small subscription fee to have that um, could not live without the stream deck at this point <laughs> it goes everywhere with me um, and then if I do need to edit I use iMovie a lot of video people use Adobe Premiere, 
or things like that. Um, but iMovie comes free on your Mac and it's good enough for the amount of edits I am able to do. As I move forward with video editing, I may expand out, but for now it suits just fine. Um, that also I can use on the Stream Deck to like split clips and things like that. Um, next up is Canva. So Canva is also something that I use for video editing. Um, video on Canva is very recent and I mainly use Canva to make thumbnails and I use it to sometimes do like little animations and things that I then bring into iMovie. I don't do a lot of the video editing directly in there. However, Canva is a great place to kind of pivot into some other tools that make my life easier on a day to day basis. So Canva is like drag and drop graphic design. Our graphic designer uses it um, mostly and like definitely having the eye for it makes a huge difference, but it's nice to be able to go in and make simple edits or get a resize an image, um, especially so like I don't have to pay for Adobe Photoshop that way. I have everything that I need for my skill level on Canva. Um, it is free but with limitations and then if you pay i think it's 14 dollars a month you can get a pro subscription which really is very much worth it if you're doing any level of content creation um and then i'm gonna go over to some productivity things so i mentioned in yesterday's video monday.com that is what i love to use for project management um it's very simple to use it's very customizable you can set reminders you can track time you can assign people you can communicate through it uh, we even have it set up that when we close out a task if there's an email address attached to the task it automatically sends someone an email that says hey this is done great tool it is a paid tool but if you are trying to you know manage a team it makes things a lot easier which take, leads us to slack <laughs> slack is uh, we use the free version at work um, we are a relatively small team, so we don't need a ton of users. Slack makes it very easy to communicate and it makes it very easy to turn it off. Um, unlike having, like having everybody text each other, we can choose when and to and when not to engage in Slack. So it is helpful for being able to communicate quickly as we uh, do have employees that work primarily from home so that we don't have to be jumping on calls every time we need to ask a question. Um, and then my kind of fun <laughs> tools that I rely on every day, other than the reminder app in my cell phone where I can just talk to my digital assistant and have them remind me in an hour that I need to do something. Um, I also use an iPad and an Apple Pencil with GoodNotes 5 to be able to jot notes during client calls. Um, I pretend that I keep a planner like every couple days I will write in it and pretend that I am now organized. Doesn't all, it never works, but it's fun. Um, I write stories in there. Um, I also use Nebo, which is a notebook that does automatic handwriting recognition and transfer, tra transforms it into text. Um, so I love that app. And yeah. Those are really the tools that I rely on on a day-to-day -day basis that are not necessarily the norm. I mean, I do use Gmail and Google Calendar and Google Drive. Those are kind of common sense ones. Um, some runners up that I have wanted to use but haven't really fully integrated is Notion. That's a fun app that could really take the place of like Google Drive and um, Monday, but it would be a lot of work to get it over there. I've used Trello on projects. That's really great. Um, but yeah, those are the ones that I rely on. And thank you for joining me for this weekend home office edition of Bite Size Moments with AJ. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at aj at bitesizedigital.com. Um, I yeah, look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.